Hi everyone, just a quick uh, mention of my book before the vid today's video starts. Watercolour Painting Made Simple by myself, Stephen Cronin. Available on Amazon, um, hardback, softback, Kindle. Um, so that's on Amazon. Details in the description below. So let me show you today's video. Hi folks, welcome to another watercolour painting demonstration. This time I'm going for a, a woodland stream look. I painted this from a photograph. Um, I think it was when we were stopping in Woolacombe. This was sort of around the back of the of the, uh, of the site. Um, it was a little strong. I've turned it almost. I've, I've lost sense of the scale again. Turned it into like a, a river rather than a tiny little stream. It sort of snakes its way up. So let me show the the photograph I've used for this. I've probably used this photograph before, to be honest. Um, but I quite like this composition. Simple, I like the way the water sort of snakes its way through. Got some big banks there, loads and loads of trees um, to sort out. So before we start painting, let me show you the, the colours I've used. The palettes here, I've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. And the brushes, got the large on Ranton Ake. Number three rigger, and then just a, a tiny little rigger that I used. So I want to create a sort of atmospheric background on this one. So first I've got to wet the paper, just to try and get all the, the colours to blend in the background. So I'm going to go lemon yellow, a bit of raw sienna. I'm bringing that right down into the foreground. And a bit of ultramarine in there as well. I'm not really replicating the colours too much that's in the photograph, I'm going more for mood. So that's my background. <coughs> <coughs> now I'm going to add a few distant trees and trunks. So I'm just using the number three rig out and I'm just flicking up. All the same colour, there's a bit of burnt umber in there as well. A lot of, these are just soft enough now because the paper's wet, these will soften up and look really far away when they're in the finished painting. So what I'll do, I'll wait for that to dry a little bit, just soak that up at the bottom, pour the water there. What I'm going to do, just need a, just, just a faint background. Give me all those colours again. And just smack them in on up there. Just looking out where the land lies. Is it there like that? The, the stream starts just just up there, just about there. It cuts across to there, something like that. Something like so. That's the way the stream sort of snakes its way through the scene. So let's just pull this flat paper stretch a little bit since I started. So I'm going to flat against this board before I continue. Right then, so I'm going to put some more trees in the background. They're back same colour, a bit of burnt on balance, marine, lemon yellow, plenty of water. And as the paper dries, it'll just go on stronger and stronger. I can tell the paper's drying already, it's, 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 it's going a lot darker now, so that's what I'm going to do. 
I can put more water on because the paper's dry and I can get away over more water on the brush. Popping these, press down and get these broader strokes in. The further down you press, the broader the stroke will be. Do a few on the other side. A bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. and branches and things. I ain't got much paint on the brush so I know I can do this right into this light area when I want to preserve it light and then I'm not going to do too much damage as long as I don't press too hard. Put a bit more, a bit more landing. I just want to clean the brush, get back to a lighter colour. I'm just squeeze down with the full finger, dry it on the tea towel. I'm just give a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. Put a bit on the edge, it's going to be very really light. Clean the brush, going a little bit muddy, so I'm just cleaning the brush, I'll get back to a lighter colour. Without lemon yellow. Clean the brush, I want to get back to a light, back to that lemon yellow again. Let's brush this in down there. Just come right down to the almost right into the foreground, medium foreground. We had a bit of ultramarine if I want to just darken it here and there. paper's dried even more now, so I'm going to go back into the trees, plenty of water, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, and this time, see, going on stronger still,
ี้ขึ้นมาลบเลยSide. You can see how it's sort of building up the layers. First one's putting them in the paper that it's wettest, and then as it progresses, tongue just gets stronger and stronger. Darken these edges a little bit. Just defining those banks. Dabs here and there. Clean the brush. Oh, what I might do now is just squeeze out a little bit of a little bit of fresh lemon yellow. fresh paint here and there so I'm just scuffing up the brush it's quite dry just taking a little bit on the corner just popping it just here and there Foliage, stick some on that one. There's not a huge amount you can see. I'm just going to make it up. A little bit up there. Stick a little bit down there. Right, I'm going to stick this uh, river in now. Well, more of a stream, it's not a river, it's like a little stream that was trickling through the woods. Um, but before I do, Stick some at the base of these trees so that look as if they're grounded. Right, let's put this water in. 
So for that, let's clean the brush on it. I don't want too much water. And I want blue, a little bit of raw sienna, maybe a touch of green in there as well. I forgot that was wet. Let's start off there, and I'm just doing, I want to leave plenty of little white bits. Do some of these banks. I'm going to go back to a dark colour, that blue, that red. These are the odd little rock and thing actually in the water itself. really added anything to do if I'm honest with you. Some down there. Find some of these rocks and pebbles and things. I feel this side. I imagine the light's coming down in the middle. That's why I'm doing these ones left handed, so because if it's catching the, as the light comes down, it's catching the light either side of the rocks. Stick a few shadows in. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to make sure this is dry first, and then I can start adding a few shadows. I might just leave it as it is. Um, no, I'm not going to bother drying it. I'm just going to just try it with the shadows. It's not that wet, I don't think. Just a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. Bluey grey colour. Not, can't see any shadows again, it was a quite a dull day. I'm going to have to make the shadows up, so I imagine they're going to come straight from the centre there. So I'm taking some from there, from the across. Sort of giving it this. Actually, it's. not quite get that on the right angle. Good 
Stick someone right in the distance, I think. Just right, I don't know that. It's not dry. Right. 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 It's very, very light inside, I think. There's someone fishing right in the distance there. Just about to see them. Stick your name down there. I'm going to call this one finished. So let's see what it looks like in the middle. Right? So there's the finished paints in the main. So if we let's have a look at the photographs, see how it compares. Um, and, and as I often do with these sorts of things, I've turned a, a little stream into like a more of a river. I've just lost scale a, a little bit, but that's, that's not really a problem. You can see the first ones I put in with the first trees I put in while the paper was still wet with the rigor brush. See how they faded right away into the background. And then you can see the different layers, different strengths of tones, just trying to create that three dimensional effect. Same on the other side, you can see how the, the strongest, darkest tones look much further forward than the, the weaker, lighter tones in the distance. Popped a few shadows in to help. Create this um, help enhance the, the light coming through from the back into the the middle grain. See this big bank here. I've tried to vary it as much as I can. A little bit of rock scraped out here and there with the card. You can see the sort of light coming through, and then just catching these trees, leaving these shadows, following the, the contours of the land. So we've got this. What what, what is actually a stream? Rough sort of turn into a river. Few quick sweeps, bit of unpainted paint there, just to try and create little surfy bits. And again, couldn't resist scraping a few more rocks just to line the banks of the river. A few more rocks here in the foreground, where the water comes right towards us. And as we follow the water upstream, just brings us to our little little man there, fishing. 
right in the distance, very light in tow. I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. Don't forget, keep practicing. And I'll see you again soon.